Hi, my name is David P. Shapiro. I am a San Diego criminal attorney, and I am the owner and managing partner of the law office of David P. Shapiro based in San Diego, California. My firm helps good people regain control of their future when charged with a crime. In this video, I want to discuss with you vehicular manslaughter and a wide range of charges that could come with general charges of vehicular manslaughter and some common mistakes that people make, as well as some good defenses. Vehicular manslaughter could be filed as a misdemeanor. It could be filed as a felony, resulting in many years in state prison if convicted. There are numerous factors, far too many and far too complicated to get into in this short video, but what I can assure you is a lot of it will depend on what, if any, statements you make to law enforcement when investigating the cause of the collision. You need to be smart. And if you've already, if you're looking at this video and you've already spoken to law enforcement and feel that you know all hope is lost, don't feel that way. There's still a lot of things that could be done, but in an ideal world, we don't have those statements admitting certain things, admitting fault, admitting how fast you were going, admitting you know whether or not you saw the individual, uh, the other car that ultimately led to that person's death. But if it's a general basic traffic infraction and God forbid someone loses their life, you could be charged with misdemeanor manslaughter. By its nature, the worst you could receive on a misdemeanor manslaughter conviction is up to one year in jail. There are certain factors that, that make that more or less likely, depending on your driving history, your prior criminal history, if any, so on and so forth. There's also vehicular manslaughter with gross negligence, which will be filed as a felony. And those are situations where the driving is really bad, where it's extreme or reckless disregard for human life. Uh, whether or not there's alcohol or not, or drugs involved is a whole other issue. That brings things up and brings up the penalties exponentially. If you're dealing with driving under the influence while intoxicated, driving under the influence with gross negligence, that's an extremely serious charge. And many times, if it gets that far, you're really at risk of being charged with possibly second degree murder uh, due to the egregious uh, acts alleged, which ultimately led to death. So it is a wide ranging, charge. It can encompass misdemeanors. It can encompass felonies. What is essential is that if you're going to invest in a high quality criminal defense law firm that's experienced in the courthouse in the region of the county where your case is, is that you also be prepared to invest in additional resources, additional uh, team members as far as an accident reconstructionist are essential in these types of cases to have an independent set of eyes look at it. Not just accept what California Highway Patrol is going to say, not just accept what local law enforcement is going to say. Have your own person look at it. Have your own expert assist your attorney, assist that law firm in defending you when you have so much at stake. So if you're charged with or under investigation for vehicular manslaughter, whether as a misdemeanor or whether as a very serious felony, we encourage you to call our office if you need our help. 619-295-3555.